Hello, this is Alan Yi. Thank you for watching our series of videos commemorating the life of Grandmaster Lei Yuling. In this third video, we look at his time in Australia from the age of 80 until his passing in 2007 at the age of 92. This video consists of clips of his 90th birthday and also some commentaries from some of my scenes. And as usual, I hope you enjoy this video and thank you very much for watching. Hi everyone, I'm Patrick from UK. Um, I start lear learning from Yusuf from 1969, I think. That was introduced by uh, Dominic. I think he uh, is in, now in US now. Um, Yusuf always said to us, do not call him Sifu, just call him Yusuf because you know, he, he, that sort of title is reserved for his master. He's, he's such a honorable man and very humble. I often go there once or twice, you know, uh, a day, a week. And the session, you know, it's always one-to-one -one sessions. And after sessions, you know, you can stay as long as you like. I mean, I often say the quite um, quite long, you know, and uh, occasionally I actually end up having dinner with you so, and Simo at a time. Um, that's just to show the how how generous that uh, you thought was. And uh, not only that, you know, sometimes you know after the session, you know, we just chat about everything. He he, he not he wasn't only a kung fu good at that. He, he he was a scholar, you know. He he used to have a very good sort of uh, handwriting, and uh, and also, you know, he we, we talk about everything. You know, it's very he was very knowledgeable. And um, you know, from 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 then on, you know, and I, I didn't I didn't really actually learn quite a, a lot from from uh, you, so because it's just a short time. I left. Um, Hong Kong in 1972 to to UK. When I when I was in um, UK, you know, that's a lot of you know. I sometimes like just practicing, you know, and and people saw it. They said, "Wow, what's that?" You know, and I said, "Look, you know, this is the try if I, you know, the traditional Chinese kung fu," and they all want to learn. I said, "Well, I'm sorry, I can't really teach you because I don't think I'm good enough. I need to." Uh, get the permission from my master first. So I did, I did, I wrote to uh, Yusuf, you know, and, and uh, asked for permission because honestly, I did not think that I'm good enough. But uh, he said, yes, you know, go and spread Chua because, you know, it's, you know, everybody need to know about, you know, the, the traditional Chinese Kung Fu. Not only Kung Fu, that's another thing that, you know, he, he said, he taught me, and, and even up to this day, I always remember it. It's, you know, it's about life. It's about a person. You must be Zhong Xing. Zhong Xing is means loyalty and honesty. So, you know, that up to now, you know, even when I, when I was teaching then, I, was, I, I started teaching in 1985. I didn't do it when I was early, early part of my life in, in UK. And uh, I always told my student that, you know, you, you're not only just learning Kung Fu, you're learning everything about life, you know, be a, be a good person. So that's, that's something that, you know, you, you, you carry you all your life. I think thanks to you, so, you know, always remember Jung Sing. This is the two words that I will re, re, remember it all. 
And um, in 1976, I actually went back to Hong Kong, you know, to um, to find you. So, but I couldn't find him. Went to the old place. I was told that he moved to Australia, and Simo died, and uh, you know, before that. Um, so I thought, wow, well, you know, I'll never see him again. But the thing is, you and fun. You know, I always believe that. Then in 2005, and um, I found him, you know, through Alan. So I came over to Australia, and I met him, met Yusuf, and we chat, we talk, and he remember me, and, um, you know, it, 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 it was a lovely time and also pretty emotional for me anyway. And that gave me the, the chance to meet all the seeing see that in Australia. I mean I didn't I didn't I didn't learn that much from from music in Hong Kong, you know, obviously it's just a short time and, and surely but there's a vast arsenal of, of forms and weapons and, and so on. I think people those those uh, uh seeing see that in uh, Australia have been learning a lot more uh, long longer than, than, than me. Um but then you sort of always say, it, you know, quite thing, but quite all. That means, you know, it's quality, not quantity. You know, that is quite true. Up to this day, you know, I always remember it. when I was teaching other things, not just Charlie, but you know, this this is the things that I will remind all my students. I have to thank Alan for doing that and carry on with uh, Yusuf's legacy. So I hope my little contribution to the video um, will help and, and I hope one day we'll uh, meet again in either Australia or somewhere. So thank you for listening. Bye -bye.
Also, I'd like to um, take this opportunity to uh, thank two, two, uh, two very important guys. Uh, they're the backbone of our line dance team, Adam Chen and uh, John So. And Nathan and Michael, uh, we hope that you will uh, help us uh, for many years to come as you can see we are all getting very old. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Hello. Hey, 
心头烧。这个。哎，走，天生啊！你你梗要埋开左右啊嘛，但系手啊必要换住啊！啊，系啊，真系好多谢你啊！关于阿师傅表演嗰几个手法咧，我虽然系佢虽然系唔多，但系我而家睇翻佢嘅手法咧，都记翻好多嘢嘅。咁佢喺过去诶喺、呃、我跟佢学嘅时候嘅手法咧，啊，同佢喺澳洲嘅手法系一样，不过可能年纪大，即系佢发劲诶个速度。同埋個誒身形係冇咁以前咁快。After being ill for a period of about four months, Grandmaster Lee Yuling passed away peacefully at the age of ninety-two on twenty-first December two thousand and seven. May Sifu rest in peace.